Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today I'm going to go over summertime fertilization, what to use and when to use it. Let's get right into the video. Now this is going to be for the warm season turf, so your St. Augustine, Bermuda, Centipede, Zoysia, and this is going to be for everyone in these tropical and subtropical zones. And when I mean summertime, let's talk about temperatures 90 and above consistently. That's when it's going to be real important to watch what you use. Now I have other videos about what to use exactly when and I would recommend checking those out. The links will be in the description for those videos. But ideally in the springtime, this is when you're going to use your heavy nitrogen to really wake your lawn up from that winter, get a good boost and have it looking good. Now you don't want to keep applying that heavy nitrogen even though it may make your lawn look good. Um, it's going to create massive thatch, promote fungus and pests and other things. Nitrogen is one of the most beneficial things for the lawn but if abused and overused it can become one of the worst things for the lawn and cause a lot of issues. So we want to make sure we're using it responsible and properly so we're getting the max benefits from it without all the downside. Now after that initial spring fertilization we should be what I call spoon feeding the lawn using almost none to extremely low amounts of nitrogen throughout the summertime when feeding the lawn. Uh, good products for this are milorganite, ironite, things like that. Those are two really common popular ones that don't have uh, heavy nitrogen in it. But you want to use things like micronutrients, humic acids, nothing really over a 5% nitrogen when fertilizing in the summertime. Because what that nitrogen can do, it produces a lot of heat, um, which has potential burning lawn and also chinch bugs, fungus, thatch, all feed from nitrogen. So we don't need to be using that all the time in the lawn. And these hottest months are very stressful on the grass. It's hot and dry. You don't want to be adding nitrogen for more heat. And if it's very wet and rainy, we don't want to be overfeeding the lawn to help fungus flare up and take over the lawn. So whether it's hot or dry, we really don't want to be using heavy amounts of nitrogen either way. Your spring and your fall are your time for your big granular nitrogen fertilizations, but that's it really twice a year max. You can spoon feed with many products. The main thing is just not using high nitrogen. Micronutrients and humic acid is going to be your best friend. Iron, magnesium, sulfur, zinc, copper, manganese, things like that. Uh, humic acid. Those are what you want to be applying. I call them the vitamins for the lawn and the summertime is absolutely the best time to be applying those things. Because if you, especially when your lawn's already green and looking good, adding more nitrogen is not going to, not going to do any better. It's just going to be like a person taking more vitamins. Uh, it's, it's a waste. You, you, your body can only take in so much during a short period of time. And so where your lawn doing way too much can actually even be damaging. So that's exactly how it works for the lawn. So we just want to be spoon feeding and keep keeping that nice green lush lawn with those micronutrients to help keep it healthy without over fertilization. And now a lot of people do have blackout dates in their counties. I'd always recommend checking your local extension agency for that. So if you have a blackout date, you're kind of forced to do something like this, which is good anyways and how it should be done because you don't need the heavy nitrogen after a good proper spring fertilization and you can watch my other videos for that spring timing but in the summertime it's just going to be totally unnecessary to do that you only need to apply this once or twice in the summer if you're using humic acid that's a product if you choose to you could apply monthly in the summertime because it's extremely beneficial more of a soil amendment than a fertilizer but when you're doing your micronutrients one to two applications every other month in the summer should be sufficient. You shouldn't need to be loading that up either. Probably the max you would want to do is it probably monthly in the summer would be the max and make sure you're doing it at or below the label rate of the product. But twice a year in the summer with a good micronutrient, ironite, milorganite, humic acid, uh, either one of those or a blend of the micronutrients and humic acids is all you're going to need in the summer to maintain a good green lawn while it's also being healthy and not developing issues with the high amounts of nitrogen. And I see this a lot in areas where people's lawns struggle is they use nitrogen 
one time and it makes their lawn look great. So they just do it constantly, constantly, constantly. Keep that lawn looking good. Now, a lot of these Bermuda, Zoysia, and Centipede type grasses, you can dethatch the lawn and kind of get rid of a lot of those issues. But if you have a St. Augustine lawn and you overfeed it with quick release nitrogens, you can't just dethatch St. Augustine grass because it doesn't grow like a monocut grass blade. My best example is to tell everyone it grows like a vine. So all your dead grass, all your dead runners are underneath the live ones. So you're going to have a lot of trouble getting that dead grass out. So you want to avoid it by not using high nitrogen. So heavy amounts of thatch can be detrimental to a St. Augustine lawn, even destroying the whole thing, forcing you to resod it. So it's really important, especially if you have that St. Augustine grass, that you are not overfeeding it with heavy amounts of nitrogen. I'm Chad with Turf Organics and this was how to fertilize your lawn in the summer. Now this is gonna be the best way to have a green, healthy lawn long term. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments. I try to answer as many. Like and subscribe and I appreciate the support. Thank you everyone so much for helping reach 10,000 subscribers and have a great rest of your day.